Greetings, my unique Geminis. This is Soul, uh, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, this is going to be a gen general reading uh, for my unique Geminis for the week of June 22nd to the 28th. Um, I welcome you to my channel. Before I begin, I would wish to um, thank my new subscribers. Also, um, thank the kind and wonderful people who continuously send me emails um, letting me know um, that what I'm doing is is good work and that I should continue. So I really appreciate the, uh, the love and the kind words that I have uh, received thus far. Also, if um, you would, uh, I would appreciate it if you like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, if there's any comments that you want to add to the videos, um, it could be anything, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, be mad if people <laughs> write, uh, comments that, you know, they disagree with what I'm doing or, you know, the reading doesn't resonate with them. It doesn't matter. Um, I welcome all comments, but anyway, um, So as not to waste any time, I want to jump right in here. If you've um, watched my uh, video for last week, basically I'm using three decks, um, the main decks. All the decks will be listed in the description box underneath the uh, video if anyone is interested. Um, but primarily I use the main deck to do your reading. And prior to recording, I shuffle all the decks and the main deck... I choose three cards and use the bottom card for the uh, central theme for, for the week. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, let's get right into the reading. It seems like it's going to be interesting um, this week for my unique Geminis, but uh, time will tell. <laughs> anyway, um the very first card, or at least the card at the bottom of the deck, you have uh, death in the upright position. The death card is a major arcana card, so it's, you know, usually indicative of some sort of a major event that some of my uh, Geminis will be experiencing this week. At least this is the energy that's going to be carried through the week. Uh, death does not represent physical death. It's a um, rebirth and transformation. Uh, shedding the old and welcoming the new. So I just wanted to be clear that the death card and theme for you for this week is uh, rebirth and transformation. For some of you. Also, uh, in the past position, we have the Three of Cups upright. And first and foremost, I think that some of you Geminis have celebrated birthdays, so this is appropriate. Uh, it's in your past position. So some of you have been partying and celebrating your birthday. And I personally want to wish you a happy birthday and to all the Geminis uh, this month or this past month since we're into um, cancer now. And uh, this is the card that's in your past position. So a lot of you Geminis were out partying and having fun, which is a good thing. And some celebrated by themselves, some celebrated with others, but you had a good time. If it was your birthday or you were celebrating with someone else's, uh, on someone else's birthday. Could have been that you were invited to uh, other things as well, such as weddings, um, someone's anniversary. Um, it could be anything where you were, you know, attended a celebration. So that's a good card. Next to the Three of Cups, we have the uh, the Herald of pentacles so and tying this into 
the theme for the week for you, uh, the death card, shedding the old and bringing on the new. Um, I'm going to tie this into some of you Geminis will be male and female will be either entering into a new job or getting promoted into a higher position. And it's also an indication of an increase of money. So that ties in with, you know, possibly a higher paying job for you. And um, it's just good energy to have in the present position. So I'm also going to extend it to that with the promotion thing. Some might some of you might be promoted into you know, managerial uh, positions, positions of authority. So that's a very good card to have in the present position. For some of my other Gemini's in your future position, we have the um, the Herald of Cups in reverse, and the Herald of Cups. Uh, to, is giving me, or you know, at least to me, is giving me the impression that someone that you know, and I hope it's not you, it's being like irresponsible, reckless, um, inconsiderate of others and, and their reactions and how their actions affect others. This could be um, within a relationship. It could also be in a uh, friendship as well as a job. You know, it could be a coworker who was acting this way. If it's not you personally, you know, being um, emotionally immature, reckless and just inconsiderate to the feelings of others and how their actions uh, affect others. So some of you may be experiencing that during the week of June 22nd to the 28th. So over, overall, this is a pretty good reading. And like I said before, some of you have celebrated birthdays, um, your birthday or, you know, birthdays of others who share the same month and birth sign. Uh, and it it appears that, you know, in the past, it, it was a good time that you had. So that's very good. Others may have been invited to a wedding, uh, some sort of anniversary. And birthdays. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So anyway, yeah, the theme for the week for you guys, my Geminis, my unique Geminis, is all about rebirth and um, transformation, shedding the old and preparing yourself for the new. Um, and moving forward, I picked the color card purple for you. And on the bottom of this card, uh, it says developmental clarity. And it's so appropriate because I'm reading for my Geminis who are um, <clears throat> air signs. So, and we're all about, you know, clarity, at least mental clarity. So the purple, the color purple for you for the week is basically just uh, saying um it's all about clearing your mind, your body and your soul of, you know, negativity. Any uh negative thoughts that you may have that may come during the week um is act is asking you to focus on um clearing those those thoughts from your mind. The color purple uh, 
Well, I just was given two. Uh, let me add to the, um, before I even continue with the color purple, I was just given with the pinnacle. Some of you may be starting your own business. Um, the revenue is there for you to start your own business and it's a good week to do so. I was just given that. And, but color purple is also saying that it, it's, it's a part of, um, positive energy and it also brings in success so i'm gonna tie that in with you know <coughs> and it does excuse me <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean you know for people who want to start up their own businesses and stuff this could be uh you know like a, a relationship or a new job um anything that's relevant to you this week is is going to be uh important Yeah, okay. That's what I'm getting. The spirit card that I've chosen for you, my unique Gemini, is the animal kingdom. And on the bottom of this card, we have animals of all types are extraordinarily <coughs> extra extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. What I'm getting from this card and this message uh, that I want to add to it is that some of my unique Gemini's may be um, pet owners and some may have recently lost a pet. Some of you are thinking about purchasing a pet and for others I'm getting that if you own a pet then a physical exam is needed yeah that's what I'm picking up uh, for the pet owners that if they have a uh, vet appointment coming up or you know schedule a vet appointment to have them exam for any potential problems so I'm getting that as well as individuals who own pets and that have crossed over recently within the past four months that's what I'm getting and also um, for the pet owners the the advice that I'm getting also to to uh, get them out and exercise them as much as possible as far as you know just walks you know to the park or just in the neighborhood I apologize when I get these little short breaks and stuff. It's only because information is being fed to me. So I just want to be sure that I'm not um, missing anything that's coming through. But to uh, continue the reading, I just want to um, actually this is overall pretty good reading for my unique Gemini's this week. I feel um, except for the you know in the the present position as I'm doing a little mini recap here. If this is not you. Acting reckless, immature, emotionally, and inconsiderate of others and how your actions affect others. Um, the advice is to sort of um, basically put yourself in check to see how people close to you are responding to your behaviors. Some of my unique Geminis will be doing startup businesses, starting new jobs, being promoted to higher positions, managerial, assistant managers, that which will bring in uh, more money, more income, if that's what 
some of you have been waiting for and hoping to get. It's in your present position, so that's good. Recent past, we have a, quite a few who have celebrated their birthdays, either by themselves or with others, and it was a good time. So it's all about rebirth and transformation this week for my unique Geminis, setting the old and bringing on the new. You're trying to also seek or restore mental clarity to your mind, body, and soul. Purple is also good for uh, vision and uh, bones. Okay, I think that is all I'm receiving um, for my unique Gemini's for the week of June 22nd to the 28th. Like I said, this was uh, an overall pretty good reading. And it's going to resonate with some of you, but it's not going to resonate with all of you. So I understand that. But um, it looks pretty positive. At least from the vibes that I'm getting and the information that I just um, introduced to you. Yeah, okay. All right, so um, I'm going to end this reading. Uh, again, I want to thank my new subscribers and all the wonderful people who continuously send me emails uh, letting me know that what I'm doing, um, you know, resonates with them and I should continue to keep doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to try my best to put these out here. And uh, I welcome any, you know, comments. Um, you know, s subscribe, like, share. It's must, excuse me, it's much appreciated. For hmm, okay, that's it. All right, so again, um, have a blessed week. It should be interesting to some of you. Please let me know. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, love and light. Take care. Bye.